All the weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. Since we've got no place to go, let it snow, let it snow. Let it snow. Brew review, and tonight I'm going to review a special winter ale. That's the hibernation ale uh, by the uh, brewed by the Great Divide. Uh, brewing company, they call it an English style old ale. If you want some good info on that, you can uh, look it up on uh, Beer Advocate. They have an excellent uh, explanation of it. Okay, this is supposed to be served warm. Er, about 50 55. Let's see how we're doing. Oh, it looks like a beautiful color. What do we have here? Good. Yeah, it's right around 54 uh, Fahrenheit. Okay. Recommend a glass as a snicker. It's a beautiful, uh, beautiful, oh, gorgeous color. This is great. I'd call that uh, a dark. Oh, dark honey. You can see some carbonation in the uh, glass. Very, very little um, uh, head on it. It's not even a half of a finger. Ah, oh. now I see why I got high ratings. Um, beautiful. Uh, <coughs> Beautiful aroma from this. Let me get the. It's almost like toffee. Very, very strong. Beautiful uh, smell from the aroma. Sweet. It's a sweet. It's almost like a candy aroma from this. With with some. Caramel, but it's. It, I've tasted this kind of aroma actually in, in, in Scotch ales, and it's fascinating. It would also be in this. Okay, the mouthfeel is um, relatively smooth. No, I take that back. It's actually. It's more, uh, more carbonated. And there seems to be a bitterness in the finish. A slight off bitterness to it, and you can also taste the alcohol. Um, <clears throat> I'm a little disappointed because I thought that the, the aromatics would translate into the finish. There's a fruitiness and a, and a very distinct maltiness to this. All right, this is a very this is a, a distinct type of style um, <clears throat> where you have a bitterness in the finish. Um, and then there's also a, uh, <clears throat> there's a bitterness with some strong flavors, but they're masked by the bitterness and the malt. So, uh, when they call old style, it's definitely the right name for it because it's something that's reminiscent of a, of a style that you would maybe drink, you know, a, a long time ago. But there is an interesting, a slight fruitiness in the finish. This is a, it's very, very interesting beer. Okay. Now 
Now, <clears throat> I wouldn't call it my favorite style. Uh, it's definitely worth drinking. Uh, but it's, uh, it's got a, it, it has a complexity that's different than other beers that I've had. You know, when you drink a Scotch Ale or you drink a, uh, <clears throat> you drink an Imperial Stout, you know, you, there's a there's an easy complexity to detect in those kinds of beers. In this, it's the focus is on the aromatics and the malts, and there's a bitterness which actually complements the beer and the the whole style. And there's a deepness in the finish. Like it, I, I, yeah, I would say it's it's there's a deepness in the taste that is different than in other beers. Um, you know, when you think of of the term ale in the classic sense, not like our new uh, modern ales that, uh, especially American ales, uh, where we've more or less reinvented a lot of the old styles. This is this is like a classic kind of uh, beer. So there's fruitiness and bitterness and malt in the uh, in the finish. Okay, uh, I highly recommend this beer. Uh, it's not my favorite beer, and it's certainly not my favorite style. But this is. A great winter beer, and it's really worth drinking um, and trying out at least once. I'm going, I, you know, I have another bottle. I want to see where that's at. Um, I know I have it at the right temperature, and uh, it's well worth drinking. It's really great for the uh, for the winter. And uh, <clears throat> I would give this uh, no bad. Uh, an 88 or so. I'm not in love with the finish, but uh, it's it, it's very, very well done. And so, have a wonderful holiday season, and remember, life is too short to drink bad beer. Cheers and peace to you and those around you. All the weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. Since we've got no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow.